Hi, welcome to Crossfader. It's Jamie Hartley here, and in today's video, we're going to be breaking down the difference between Remix decks and Stems decks in Tractor Pro 3. Both of these are quite unique to the Tractor Pro 3 software, and this video will hopefully help you make either a better purchasing decision if you're thinking about buying into the Tractor ecosystem and you're a beginner DJ, or if you've just got your hands on some Tractor DJ equipment and are wondering what the difference is between these and how to think about using them in your DJ sets. Let's get stuck in. Remember to like, comment, share, subscribe, do all that good stuff to help us keep making more videos like this. Loaded onto deck A, we have a remix set, and loaded onto deck B, we have a stems deck. First, let's look at the remix set. The remix set is basically a set of sounds or samples that you can load into the pads to activate either as loops or what you call one shots, so where you press it once and it plays through that sample. If you look in the tractor software, I've developed my own where I've just used four different samples, but this is where remix sets become pretty endless because we've got four banks that we can actually choose from. And if we loaded in a different remix set, you'll see how many samples that you can choose from. However, you're limited on certain controllers just to the top four layers, unless you use your mouse to activate others. If you've got something like an add-on controller, then you can actually access all what's visible on the screen and scroll through the different remix sets. So think of a remix set as building your own song out of samples. Let's go back to the other remix set and keep it simple. How to activate and play around with a remix set, it's as simple as pressing each of the pads to activate that loop or one shot. So if I press number one, it activates a kick drum. Number two, we've got some hats. Number three, we've got a vocal. We can stop loops or samples by holding shift and pressing the pad. I want to change this vocal from a loop into a one shot. And this can be done in the settings here. And we can use it just as a hold. There we go. Let's just reactivate the loop on that one. And there we can use it as a hold rather than a loop. A remix set can also be controlled in a standard way of any other deck. So you can use a jog wheel to manipulate scratch and scroll through the song. You can set loops and you can apply effects to it. You can also change the volume and filter of each individual layer. So we've got the filter here on the kick drum. You can filter it up and down or click it into reset. And you can bring the volume down or volume back up or click to reset. And you can do that for each um, of the pads that we have available. We can stop that deck and it works just like any other deck, but you've got more control over each of those individual samples or layers to the remix set. This is a really cool way to build your own unique remixes and your own unique tracks out of samples and loops. Stems, however, this is an entire track that has been split into four parts. So the track that I've got loaded over here, if we listen, this is the complete track by itself. If we click the stems button on the Tractor S4 Mark III, for example, we can mute or unmute different stems. So we can turn off the drums, we can turn off the bass, we've got chords, and then we've got vocals. So you can add each one in separately. Each layer can also be manipulated with a filter and the volume. And it's still able to be controlled just like any other deck with loops, moves, hot cues, and effects. So there you have it, remix decks versus stems decks. It's well worth thinking about how you can incorporate these into your DJ sets if you're a Tractor Pro 3 user. They're both really useful when it comes to creative DJing. And if you want to learn more about how to use both of these features, then check out the link for a free DJ lesson and our online DJ courses specifically for Tractor. Thanks, I hope to see you on our website. And please remember to do all that good stuff, like, comment, share, subscribe, to help us keep making more videos like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Peace.